It dented the tank. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to build the bolt rifle. We're going to build the uh, the next level up advanced fabricator or whatever it's called. Let me open my key bindings and tell the game once again that I don't want Bloom on. Okay. Um, and then, uh, yeah, see kind of where, where things lead us. Now, I went out and, oh, and we're going to build the, uh, some, some of the robots today, too. Uh, so I went out last night on camera and um, uh, took the crab out and got a whole bunch of of ores. There's some kind of weird footstep noise that's going on that started happening, you know, when I hopped in the mech. And I, I still hear it. It's just really weird. But it sounds like the mech's moving around, but it, it's, it's more attached to my character. It's, it's really bizarre. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that thumpity thump sound, but that's what it is. Um, look at all this ore I got, and this is just from maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes out on the crab just blasting ore nodes. I mean, that is a crap ton of ore. <laughs> it's so much ore, it's crazy. Let's go ahead and grab some of these ores. I'm going to grab a stack of magnesium, a stack of iron, and, <coughs> excuse me, and a um stack of aluminum i guess it doesn't matter oh i put um i processed some of the zirconium that we got off of L uh, lutari into the the plates the zirconium plates and i also made some cubic zirconia which we're going to need to 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 process with some things uh okay so let's go ahead and get these guys uh, going in there and um we can also get some more stuff going in yeah hear that thumping sound? It's really bizarre. And it sounds like it's coming from over there, even though the mech is there. It's just, it's just really strange, man. It's almost even kind of creepy. Because <laughs> it feels like something's chasing after you, but there's nothing there, so I don't know. Weird, man. Um, anyway, um, let's see, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, we're gonna, we're grabbing ore out of here, and we're just gonna... You know, should I? Yeah, I should smelt it because basically raw ore takes twice as much space as um, as ingots do because it takes two ore for each ingot. So uh, let's go here and get that going. Oh, the other thing um, too that I did off camera is I got all of my gas tanks completely full. Um, so every single one of those gas tanks is is filled to the brim with uh, with gas. So feel good about that. That's something I wanted, you know, had planned on doing. And now we have a good supply of all five of the gases in the game. All right. How are you doing? Oh, you're done already. Okay. So let's pull those out and we'll grab uh, these here and get lithium and plutonium. Man, I wish I could take that over into the experimental game. Looks like those are the only two that I need to make at the moment. So yeah, every one of these tanks is completely full. So this is 100% 100, 100 full with O2. This one's 100% full with chlorine. Um, oh, you know what? I did have a meteorite. It dented the tank. <laughs> or did it? Wait a minute, did it dent the tank, or is that just the... I did have a meteorite come down right on top of my mech crab, and it did damage it. It, it didn't da do any damage to the tank, though. Huh, interesting. It looked, it From this angle, it looked like there was a big dent in the tank. Uh, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, so, but, but it did come down on the crab, and it did seem to do a little bit of damage. It was it only damaged it, like, maybe 20%, but still. Um... I don't think I can get to this. Yeah, that's completely stuck inside this tank, so there it shall stay, because I am I am not gonna... Well, actually, can I hit it from here? It, when it says mineral... Well, I could get a piece of it, but I can't... Yeah, okay, yep, it's gonna have to stay there. I think it'll... I think it'll despawn after a while. Um, 
So anyway, yeah, so this is full of chlorine. This one is full of hydrogen. This one is full of not, well, with nitrogen. And this one is full with fluorine. So we got all those completely full. Is this guy ready? Nope, not quite yet. Okay, so let's go on inside. We'll grab... Uh, I hope I have room for all these ingots inside. We're gonna... We're getting uh, almost completely full uh, in our ingot chest, but I have, uh, you know, I have extra storage that we can use if we need to. That's still working on titanium. <laughs> Weird, man. Okay. Let's head on in here. And we'll stick all these in here. Hopefully we can fit them all in. I've made uh, quite a bit of steel, too. Oh, why are those guys left over? Um, default sort. Okay, yeah, we still have a little bit of room left in here. Not not a ton, but a little bit. Um, we want to go to furniture. And we want the advanced fabricator. Okay, so we need aluminum, glass, zirconium, and plastic. Uh, so I made some, some of the plates here. So let's grab some plastic. Some glass. And it said aluminum. So we'll grab some aluminum. Okay, so what we're going to do is disassemble this guy. Destroy? Why can't we just take it apart? Well, maybe that's what that means. Yeah, we got some resources back. Okay. Now we'll go here to furniture and advanced fabricator. And there we go. We have ourselves an advanced fabricator. Yay us. Okay, let's put that away. Open this guy up. Now, um, I'm, I'm, I've gotten mixed information about a few things. Like, for example, coal, you know, making the cobalt weapons. Um, I don't know if you can even find cobalt in this version of stable. I've never seen it. Uh, it is in the experimental. I came across it on Proteus, but I don't know, unless it happens to be on, um, Aziel or uh, Lutari, I'm not sure about that. The other thing is, is there's, I don't know how you would make the, uh, the heavy assault rifle. From what I heard, you have to find a blueprint for it, but I'm not sure if that's in this version of the game either. I also heard that you can't make the hydrogen torch yet because there's not, there's no tungsten in the game. I don't know if any of this is true. This is based upon, you know, comments that I've seen on other people's YouTube videos that I've been watching too. Um, so I'm not really sure, but we can make the bolt rifle. And I saw uh, somebody using this in action, and this thing actually is a beast. It only has three shots, but it packs a hell of a punch. So we're going to make this. I also saw someone using this, and I wasn't really impressed with it. Apparently, they put this gun in the game. Again, this is all based upon people's comments, because there used to be these ghost astronauts in the game, and you had to use this to kill them. But... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not super impressed with that gun, to be honest with you. Plus the fact, you have to hold it and charge it up for, I don't know, two, three, four seconds before it's, a, you know, it's a actual full charge. Now, it does do a hell of a lot of damage, but it didn't seem to, to work very well at close to mid-range. It's kind of almost a long-range weapon. So anyways, all that to say, not very impressed with it. Uh, but what I, we are going to do is we're going to make the bolt rifle, and we might play around with some of the better ammo for the assault rifle as well. Uh, which we have to make out in the forts. So, what do we need for this? We need steel plastic, wire, circuit boards, diamonds, and gold. We need... Uh, steel, plastic, wire, circuit boards, diamonds, and gold. Did I get all of that? Uh, is this gold? Yeah. I did. Look at us. Okay. Let's make ourselves a bolt rifle, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we got the bolt rifle. Now we need to make bolt rifle ammo. So let's go out here. Take a look at our forge. Um, okay, so bolt rifle magazine. So we need aluminum, titanium, and steel for that. Now I was thinking about trying these T19 assault rounds. That requires tungsten. This is 40 damage, um, give or take 10, and 5 critical hit, but there's only 6 in the clip. 
these D24K assault rounds have 20 in the clip. It does 48 plus or minus 2, but 20% uh, critical hit. But three diamonds is... I mean, I know we can get diamonds now on Latari, but <clears throat> that just seems incredibly expensive for a 20-round clip, right? Um, unless that means 20 three-round burst shots. I'm not really sure about that, honestly. Starvation warning. And the other thing that I'm not 100% positive of is... See, these... These have 20 damage, but they have 20% critical hit. These have double the damage, but down to 5%. So I don't know. That doesn't seem like a really good trade-off. I don't know. What we could do is make one of these because, you know, these this isn't that expensive. And just, you know, see if it actually even works. Because um, I don't know if that requires a different type of assault rifle. It doesn't say. It just says assault rifle. You know, it says advanced ammo magazine for the assault rifle. So I'm assuming it would work, but I guess I don't know that for sure. So we'll try we'll try a magazine of this and see if we can load it. Um, so okay, we need aluminum, titanium, and steel, and oh wait, no, we don't have tungsten. I guess we can't make these. I guess we can't make these. Man, I don't know, you guys, if I want to spend three diamonds on one freaking magazine. That just Sorry. seems so damned expensive. And, you know, we can't use this because we don't know how to make the heavy assault rifle. So, all right, well, let's just stick with the bolt rifle for now. Um, so, again, aluminum, titanium, steel. Okay, let's go grab those things. I've heard that there's a planet called Xur or Zin or something like that. But I, I, I don't know if it's available in this build. I, I haven't been able to get a clear answer on that either, so... Okay, so let's make, um, so if we made 10, that would give us 30. If we made 20, that would give us 60 shots. So, I, yeah, here, let's just, I know I can click the plus, but let's just do 20 for the moment and see how things go. Cryo rifle. It requires tungsten and obsidian, neither of, and nickel. <laughs> okay, well, we won't be making that today. Uh, we're going to definitely have to take another trip back up to the the moons and, and look for that sort of thing. I guess the heat cells and the reactor cells are specifically for heat pistols and reactor pistols. And again, from what I understand, um, we have to find a blueprint to be able to make that. See, this requires nickel, too. So, yeah, we won't be doing anything with a cryo, cryo rifle in this episode, for sure. We got lots of bad... Uh, ouch! Bad guys out here we can... We can test our rifle out on. Okay, so let's get that out. Four. And load her up. Yeah, this thing, uh... This thing does... 100 damage plus 25% critical hit. Okay, so let's get out and away from these guys. So this is pretty much one-shot kills. Oh, not for him, though. Wow, we hit him right in the head, too. What level are you? Level 3? Maybe we didn't hit him right in the head, but still, even the fact that he didn't die is impressive. All right, so let's get those guys loaded. Let's try this one. Yeah, one shot kill. You dead. You dead, you mofo. All right, let's go into beta mine real quick and just mess around with this. I'm not going to mine anything in here. We're just going to go in and shoot stuff just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah, I, I would have made this sooner. I should have been paying attention to how powerful it was. Um, I would have made it sooner if I had been, but better late than never, right? All right, let's turn our light on. We have one shot left in the sniper. You dead. Yeah, this, this gun, man. Holy crap, this thing kicks ass and takes names. So 
a lot of bad guys. Oh, you missed. Who's first? Okay, you first. You second. <laughs> Look at that pile of bodies. <laughs> I love it, man. Man, we should have been using this all along. We should have been using this all along. Oh, there's another monkey scorpion. Oh, yeah, right in the face. Another Elida. Ah! I was reloading, man. What the hell? Right, let's get up here. There's no room to to retreat. Yeah, you come up the stairs and die. You too. Oh shit. Okay, let's uh, take one of these. Actually, maybe two of those. Okay, we've got two shots. Salute all these guys so we can get rid of them. All right, is that everybody? That was that was a lot of monsters. You know, I'm I'm gonna just check the crates because you know there is a chance to get diamonds in here. But I actually, you have to really make sure you're looking in the crate because it'll. Sometimes, you know, you're not actually selecting it when you think you are. All right, um, I'm going to take that. I'm not taking the rest of that stuff. I will take all of that. <coughs> Here's another victim. You dead. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll take those too. I want this. I'm not taking any of the rest of that. Man, why couldn't I have found that in a freaking experimental? Actually, I did, but um, I need four ingots to, for the forge, and it only gave me three. See, at least here in beta mine, there's always one or two pieces of Prometheum sitting down there, so you just, you know, run the place a few times and then you have enough to make those even if you don't find the ing ingots like in the crates like I just did. We'll take the battery <coughs> and we'll take that and then we have a couple crates over here. Uh, nope, don't want any of that and we'll take the battery. Okay, so yeah, um, pretty good rifle man. Uh, obviously it's a sniper rifle so it's not I mean, it, it even packs a punch at close range, but the problem is you have, you know, three shots, so if you run out and they're still rushing you like those guys were, then you're kind of in trouble. I could have switched to my pistol or my assault rifle, but it's all right. We're, we were fine. We were not in any danger whatsoever. Okay, so yeah, bolt rifle is awesome. Okay, guys, let's uh, go ahead now and make some droids. So let's start with the, yeah, our friend Bloom is back. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Um, let's start with the mining assistant. Um, so we're going to need, I'm going to actually write this down. Um, I thought, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to write down what I need for the droids. Uh, and then I'll bring you guys back when I, when I've gathered up all the materials. Okay. So be back in a bit. Okay, guys, we should have everything we need to make uh, all three droids. So let's head on in here. Okay, let's start with uh, Osiris Mission Personal Assistant. I'm not even really sure exactly what this guy does. Um, so let's just go... Is he like, can, can he not get in our shield? Where are you going, man? Okay, so open inventory. Okay, so he can hold stuff. And if he follows us, what does he do? Can he not, can he not turn? What, what the hell, man? It's like he's stuck in one... Okay, let's see if he'll fight the crab over here.
I think he's got like like guns on him, but I don't think they're anything. He's not he's not doing a damn thing. And he won't turn he won't turn. <laughs> okay, that's broke. Okay, if we cancel follow, stay follow. Okay, he turned that time. If we just tell him to stay, he just... Okay, he'll stay there. Cancel, stay. Follow, F. Does he turn now? Uh, I think we just wasted some resources, ladies and gentlemen. I think we just wasted resources. Here, let's go. Uh, here we go. Um, OMPA manual. Steering combat maintenance. Mining. The Osiris mission personal assistant was developed to assist field personnel with their active duties on any plans. Each OMPA has been installed with a set of upgradable algorithms that include navigation, repair, mining, and self-defense. So does he help us with repair and navigation? He doesn't have a flank option. That's probably on the the security guy. Repairing. Huh. I don't know, but I mean he's he can't even turn. So, yeah, I'd say this guy's kind of borked. Can he come inside of here? Are they not able to come inside the shield? What if we turn this off? He still acts like the shield's in place. Okay, yeah, he's he's broken. <laughs> he is not working. Um, all right, well, what if we do cancel follow? And okay, if we don't tell him to stay, does he just? Oh, what's he gonna do? What the hell's he doing? Okay, now he's turning. I wonder if he's trying to get to the biodome to repair it. But he won't he won't follow me in here. You would think your own droids would, would be able to come inside the bubble. Okay. Well Yeah, I'm saying I, I'm thinking this guy's borked. <laughs> Um, you stay here. No, cancel stay. Do your patrol and continue being worthless for us. All right, yeah, that was a waste of resources. <laughs> okay, let's try the next one. Hopefully the next one will work a little bit better. So let's do mining droid next. Okay. Now, my understanding is that if we put down a... I'm not going to waste bolt ammo on this piece of shit. Um, my understanding is that if we put a, a depository, follow, stay. Oh, he's got lots of inventory. Uh, cancel stay. 
Isn't he supposed to, like, just wander around and... Okay. Wait. Are you following me? No, he's not supposed to be following me. Uh, doesn't he, like, wander around and just find... Starvation warning. He sure appears to be following me, even though I told him not to. Okay. Now, I was told that you can locate this guy. Um, but he's, he shows up as a green dot. Yep, there he goes. Okay. So, our droids are green dots. So, he's... I get, Oh, shit. I guess he's just going to go off and look for ore. And at some point... Uh, we go find him and unload him. But let's do this. Let's actually build a depository. Oh, actually, hold on. I want to see if, if he'll follow us in the dome first. Okay, can you come in here, buddy? No, he doesn't seem to be able to come in here either. Maybe, maybe there that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, well, here, let's do this then. Let's send him on his way. Cancel follow. And he looks like he's probably going to go after those plutoniums. And while he's doing that, let's set up a, a deposit. Uh, oh, is he stuck on the rocks? Let's set up a depository and see if he'll just load it up for us. I think he's stuck. Can we push him? Really, their AI gets stuck on rocks? That how How's that going to work? Okay, cancel, follow. Okay, so we're just going to put a depository... Uh, we'll put it right here. For him to use. Well, you know what? I don't want to put him by the mechs, though, because he might get hung up on him. So let's put it over here. Whoops. Utility depository. Okay, so we'll let him we'll let him go do his thing, and we'll check this periodically and see if he puts stuff in it. Yeah, see how that mech's moving around? It's messed up, man. It's messed up. Okay, let's try the security droid next. Serious dehydration detected. Okay, let's go a security unit. All right, check you out, man. You look like you're ready for business. <coughs> he's <laughs> he's going for it, man. Look at him go. He doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, though. Alright, let's what level was that crab? Alright, can you here you follow me? So he's like Okay, alright. Looks like he's getting in formation. Wow, it took him that many shots to kill a level one crab? Dude. You I'm not super impressed with your firepower. Not gonna lie, okay. How long is it going to take you to kill him? You are going to shoot him, right? Uh, uh hello? There you go. <laughs> okay, what level was this crab? He's, he's, he's shooting him for good measure. A level one. Oh, man. Um, I like the idea of you, but man, you, you got to get a little bit beefier gun than that, homie. Oh, okay, I can kind of, I can kind of direct him. Oh, that's kind of neat, though. I can tell him where to point. Okay. I, lo I love the idea of this, but, man, they, they got to give him a little more firepower than that. He was just tickling these guys. Okay. Now, here's the million-dollar question, and I'm, I think I know the answer to this, but we're going to try it anyway. Can he follow us into a mine? 
I don't think he can, but let's just try it. He he can certainly move as fast as I can. Guy scoots along pretty good, doesn't he? Okay, how do I approach him? Oh, do I have to put my weapon away? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait. How do I approach him to change his commands if he keeps moving like that? Do I have to crouch? Uh, okay. Do I have to get into third person? He won't hold still so I can get close enough to him to give him commands. <laughs> Stop. Okay, that's messed up. Okay, um, how's his inventory? Oh, he's got one thing of inventory. All right. He, okay, you stay here. I'm going to go in and get a drink, and then we're going to see if you can go into the mine with me. Yeah, I know. Okay, cancel, stay, and follow me. Okay. I mean, I, I seriously like the idea of this. I really do. But we need to be... What? Oh, he's... You're supposed to be following me, buddy. <laughs> he needs more firepower, and we need a way to stop him when he's in follow mode because he won't hold still. See, I mean, how am I supposed to tell him to stop? I guess you have to run up on him really quick and hit the F button. Okay, well, whatever. Let's see if he'll go into the mine. I don't think he will, but if he does, that'd be fantastic. Ouch. Okay, let's see if he goes in here. Nope, he didn't come in here. Okay, well, we tried. <laughs> we tried. What are, is he still outside the door or what did he where did he go? Oh, he's right here. Okay. Well, I mean I guess I guess you can make several of these and then you can have kind of like a squad follow you around. If you had multiple guys you know, then their combined firepower would probably be somewhat effective. But one of one of these guys, in terms of firepower, is not really impressive, to be honest with you. Are you still following me, Pup? He's kind of cool, though. But I would say, you know, more of a novelty than a necessity, <laughs> at least at this point. But hopefully they'll improve him. See, at least this guy will stop and turn around and look at you when you get up close to him. Okay, do you have anything in your inventory? Oh, look at that. Yeah, nice. He's got plutonium and uh, and lithium. He, I'm sure he went up there and got him. Okay. Carry on, sir. Carry on. Mine away. We need to get a little further away from him. because. Yeah, so what that guy does, this guy needs to do. Uh, we need a way for him to hold still long enough so we can go up to him and, and change a command. <laughs> it's really hard to do that. Um, run, run. Uh, but he, he also turns from you, though, too. So it's... <clears throat> Cancel. Oh, I actually had done it. There we go. Uh, nope. I didn't. Come on, man. Did we do it? Okay, we did it. So... I guess if we just leave him alone, he's going to, like, patrol around? Yep. I guess that's what he's going to do. I don't know how far away he, he'll get from our base. My guess is that when you tell him to stop following you, he probably stays within a certain distance of that point, I think. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's going over the hill. He's gone, man. He's going to look for trouble. He's always following the mining droid. Is he really following him, though? I don't think so. Yeah, you know, it might it might be fun to get, like, a little small army of those guys and just, just see what they do, but... You know, where you could really use their help is in the mines, and if you can't take them to the mines, that kind of 
blows. Okay, but he, he is coming back. He didn't get super far away. Man, you are badass looking, dude. Um, will this guy follow us if we are in the mech? Let's just try that. See if he, if he follows us around. That could be kind of fun. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay, so what you could do... What you could do is make, like, a little squad of these guys. Looks like they're as... As fast as the mech is. And just, you know, just go around and shoot up the countryside and kind of have fun with it, you know? That's kind of cool, actually. Again, it's not... It's not an essential thing with the current implementation, but it's just kind of fun. It is fun. All right. Get him. Get him, soldier. Is he stuck on the rock, or what's he doing? Will this guy attack the mech? And if he does, can he actually hurt? even hurt him? He, does, he doesn't seem to be interested in attacking the mech. I could see taking a squad of these guys out, though, and get, having them get stuck could be a pain in the butt. He, he looks like he's derping out a little bit there, doesn't he? Okay, now he's unstuck. Okay, let's take him over here. Jumping back off the hill. Boop, boop, boop. Me and my little buddy running around. Look at us and our bad selves. Look at us and our bad mech selves. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. Effective? Nah, not so much, but fun. <laughs> fun nonetheless. I want to see if... um. Our, our mining buddy put anything in the in here nope it's still zero capacity maybe he has to be completely filled up before he'll do that that's pretty steep well we'll figure it out maybe <laughs> all right let's let's just see if he'll if he'll attack a graboid I'm just curious to see if he will oh wait where is he did he not come with us? Is he is he like going? I ain't going out there. Are you crazy? Where did he go? I see him on the radar. Oh, he wait. Ah, oh, he doesn't like to be on the sand. <laughs> He's smarter than we are. He does not like to be on the sand. Here, what what happens if we run this way? That's interesting, man. He doesn't want to be on the sand. Okay. Well, I'm going out on the sand whether you're coming with me or not, pal. Now, I heard also, in comments, so nothing substantiated, that you can get to another area on, on Proteus. That you have to kind of travel across the sand and then you, it, you get to a point where it says, do you want to travel to the other side, side B or whatever, something like that. Or maybe it's site to B, because we're I think we're on site A. Um, so I don't know if that's true or not either. I wonder why we're not attracting any graboid attention. I don't know, but man, I'm screwing my There we go. Whoa! Run away. Oh shit. That was close. Those things are enormous. Um, we gotta go back, man. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna die because I don't have anything to drink. Okay. Ah, uh, run this way. Yeah. Yeah, those things used to come after you even on the rock island. Okay, let's go back. Um, yeah, because I need something to drink. I'm already dehydrated. Maybe what we'll do is we'll, we will come out here and we'll go as far as we can go with some water in our inventory. 
Okay, he's actually coming. He actually came out of the rock area. That's weird. All right, let's just get back up here. Our little buddy's still around. He waited for us just on the edge. You big chicken. Can we shoot him? <laughs> I don't know if that did damage to him or not. Uh, all right, well, anyway. All right, guys, I'm going back to the base, and we're going to wrap up this episode. In the next episode, um, let's plan on going to um, Az Azil, Azil, however you pronounce that. And then uh, hopefully we can find some of those rarer ores that we haven't found. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.